Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to download and install Blender 2.81. So let's go ahead and open up the web browser and into Google we're going to just type in Blender 3D and that will take us to this website called blender.org right. So I'll put a link to this website in the YouTube description it says Blender 2.81 is here. This is the latest version so I want to go ahead and click on this to install it. Let's click here and here you can see um, all the different versions of Blender. So you can download and install Blender 2.8, 2.79 and go backwards if you want to look at some of the older versions. We want to focus on Blender 2.81 here. So we'll click on this download button. Let's just go back there. You can either click here or you can click on download here. And you can read a bit more information about what is updated in this particular version. I think the support for um, ray tracing on GeForce cards, that's quite interesting, and also the denoising engine in here, or the the tools that you're using for denoising, this open image denoise. This seems to be quite interesting in this particular version. That's mainly for cycles, um, but you know it's worth knowing. So have a quick read of this page. We'll click download here, or you can click the download button down here. We'll click that, and automatically the browser or this software or this website is detecting that I'm using Windows so it's offering me the Windows installation you can click the drop down here and you can select the other options that are relevant for you for your machine Mac OS Linux as well uh, but I'm going to be downloading the Windows so let's go ahead and click the big blue button here that will start the download so we'll wait for that to start downloading you can see it's downloading here I'm going to open up this folder and we'll drag and drop the file once it's downloaded let's drag and drop that into here so here we can see the the file in the folder let's just open this up and normally I would scan this with Norton's right so here you can see Norton's is saying it's safe um, so you shouldn't have any problems you can see it's got some information it's very new right the file was released less than a week ago but Norton's saying that thousands of people have installed it so it's fine to, for you to install it as well but when you double click on this you'll notice that Windows Defender will, will load up and it's looking at this particular file to say well it doesn't recognize it so much but that's not a problem really what we do is click more info here that little more info let me just do that one more time if I double click Windows Defender will open I'm going to click more info and run anyway so that will start the installation we we'll just click next accept the terms click next and it should download and install and overwrite uh, your previous version of Blender. So if you're running 2.8, this should now be installed in 2.81. So let's just follow the on-screen instructions. Here you can see it's installing. It takes a few minutes or less than that to be fair. And if you've been following my YouTube channel, you know that I've been working with Blender doing tutorials. My channel is quite diverse, so go and have a check of it. Do subscribe if you'd like to learn about 3D animation and all sorts of different types of software. I like to look at different things. So here we can see the uh, complete the Blender installation. Let's click Finish. Let's go ahead and load up Blender. And let's just make sure we see 2.81 here. So I can see the new splash screen. We can see version 2.81a. So this is going to be the latest stable version. I would always recommend that you try and get to downloading and installing the latest versions of Blender. It's going to be a bit more stable. It's going to support more graphic cards. It's just going to be better for you. So if you had problems with Blender before with certain graphic cards, try and download the latest version and use that in terms of um, seeing if you can get some better stability. Although it's been pretty good for me in terms of uh, using Blender. So hopefully you've been following my YouTube channel. If I just close this quickly, let's just open up the web browser again and we'll head over to my YouTube channel. If you're interested in learning more about Blender, um, then what you can do is go to my playlist here, click playlist right here, and then you'll see all the different playlists for all the different types of software that I've been doing. So here you can see Blender. If you click view full playlist, then you can see all the different tutorials that I've been creating for Blender, anything from like sci-fi spaceships and mountains and creating planet Earth and you know all these different things, smoke effects and cinematic sort of designs, all different sorts of stuff here. So you can have a lot of fun learning Blender 
uh, by following some of these tutorials. So I'll be making some more as well. I'll be releasing them over the coming weeks. Okay, let's close this down. That's how you go about installing Blender 2.81 onto Windows 10. Follow that same logic if you want to install it onto your Linux computer or your Mac OS. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.